Um, yeah, so I kind of thought it was weird that um, I got called finally um, to, to a church with both Michael Beery and Chris Lincoln because, well, it's a little awkward. Um, there are some familiar physical attributes that kind of occur, and I don't really, I haven't really figured out how I like it, but worship's been a lot easier, especially since we have three worships every day. Uh, or every Sunday, and um, it's not as exhausting as it used to be. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. definitely something that I don't believe has ever occurred in the ELCA before, having uh, three people essentially share a call like, like we all are doing. Um, it's worked out great for me professionally. Personally, uh, Lisa and I have been having some, some struggles with it. She's just kind of confused and I think a little frustrated that I have uh, a lot more um, individuals to, to share the responsibilities with here. Um, but I, I think we can push through and work things out. Well, it's been pretty nice since David has joined us. Um, you know, we thought it was, uh, you know, a small uh, bit of irony that Michael and I received calls to the same place. But when they sent us David, uh, we welcomed him with open arms. But some of the reactions have been kind of strange. Uh, kids tend to cry and run away, and uh, we're not quite sure who is at fault for that, and, uh, you know, the, the altar guild, they're always confusing us for each other, but, um, hey, that's the altar guild, you know, so, uh, we're having a good time, we're having a good time, but uh, people are just going to have to get used to it, and uh, pretty soon the council is going to vote on whether they, they need to institute uh, all men to shave their heads in the congregation. So we're considering that to help make things seem a little more normal around here. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks, <coughs> broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all the drinks, saying, One of the great things that we've been able to initiate since David's come on board is uh, during visitations, we have a time system. So every 20 minutes, we filter in and out. Because once you get to those uh, special visits where, where folks just are those broken records and going and going and going we do a quick distraction and then pops in the, the other person and the other gets to leave and uh, it's just very refreshing. Well we've had a, a wonderful time here working together and certainly this congregation is very welcoming to everyone but you know then there are those people that come and you just kind of know that they just wouldn't fit and so we kind of play a little mind game with them that on their way out uh, we'll make sure they run into all three and we pretend like we're the same person and then it usually spooks them and they never come back. <laughs> 